Alrighty, a couple of these here. Let's play that. So this is your medium ball. So the couple issues on this one here where it has a bit of an even timing as it comes down, but I still feel a couple hiccups. It feels like there are too many keys in there. And then you have a little bit of like your path feels fairly straight in terms of how it bounces versus a nice arc as it continues. Not that my, <laughs> my drawn arcs that better. And making sure that there's enough hang time so it doesn't just kind of go up and down, but hangs a bit and then comes down and the spacing has to get bigger as it accelerates. And again, you mentioned something that in your scene is correct that it hits the ground. Although you do have two frames here where it just kind of slides. Make sure it still has a one frame bounce off. And then after that, it has a bit of a sudden stop. So this being a medium ball, kind of like a basketball, it would still have a little bit more of a dong, 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 bounce, roll, and then stop. So that still needs a bit of work. But you did send the Maya scene. I'm going to dive in there and take a look at the curves. Now, this is your light ball. And it's somewhat similar it just goes a bit further than the basketball i would really try to make this bigger and think of it in terms of a big floaty beach ball where it just has that really slow boom 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 it's very interesting watching me do this and make the sounds but so you have a really absolute maximum contrast because right now this is it's kind of kind of like a basketball but kind of too slow Timing feels actually a bit better in the hang time. Boom, drop. It feels a bit better in this one. Where if I speed this up, and what is this? This is 25% faster. It feels a bit better. This is 50% faster. Hard to see, but it's a bit too fast. But I think your 25 to 30% will be even better. Well, but then it goes back to almost being a medium, you know your general ball so a bit of a different approach for the a slow beach ball and i think i have an example i could send you uh for reference and this one being the heavy ball it still has a bit of a and again i'm curious about your settings because it doesn't hit the ground again and then if you look at what the ball is doing in terms of just spacing as it's here and it goes down and it's going to be very boring to watch, but hopefully illustrates the point. I mean, it doesn't hit the ground. It's pretend the ground is there. But if you look at that spacing, you can see how it's fairly even here with a slight acceleration, then a big pop through here, and then fairly even again, with almost a bit of an ease in and so on. And then you have that, to me, that bounce would be still a bit too high it's almost like you have that as your second bounce maybe a tiny bit higher and the last one has like only a tiny bit of a bounce in there um i'm gonna take a look at that demo that i sent you uh that little animation demo let's see how what that covers there there's still some issues there that are not a bit too similar to the last clip but I think you sent me my scenes for all three. I'm going to look, take a look at these and let's have a bit of a discussion via email how to proceed with that. And maybe kind of looking at the graph editor and kind of looking at spacing, kind of understanding how that works and how to look at the curves and understanding how that, that process works. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.